This fella here over here with the, the yellow shirt, Makaka, or whatever his name is, he's with my opponent. He's following us around everywhere. And it's just great. We're going to places all over Virginia. And he's having it on film, and it's great to have you here. And you show it to your opponent because he's never been there and probably will never come. That was the infamous moment the political career of Republican Senator George Allen went up in flames. Allen was running for re-election to the U.S. Senate in Virginia and was even thought to be considering a run for president. That is, until he called S.R. Siddharth, a University of Virginia student who is taping his speech that day, a racist slur that basically means monkey. Siddharth was then serving as Republican Senator George Allen's tracker, which means that while volunteering for Allen's Democratic opponent, Senate candidate Jim Webb, Siddharth videotaped Allen's public appearances whenever he was admitted into an event. Now, this is a common... In campaigns, it's sort of lowly grunt work, and employing such trackers is fairly common practice. Your idea is to catch your opponent in the act of saying something stupid. But what happens when your political opponent holds private events? How do you conduct oppo research on closed door events like fundraisers? Why you outfit a couple of college kids with a pair of spy glasses, of course. Today, the Michigan Republican Party acknowledged the state party sent staffers Natalie Collins and Kyle Anderson into a fundraiser to videotape Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mark Schauer. I have to just figure out the best way to hide this. As long as I don't go through my phone, then they'll see that I have the Rick for Michigan app <laughs> and Fox News. <laughs> the Rick she's talking about is Michigan Governor Rick Snyder, who apparently has an app for his campaign. And he's in the midst of a tightening re-election race against the aforementioned Mark Schauer. So, enter the Michigan Republican Party and its spy cam equipped trackers. Here's just some of what they discovered at their secret undercover fundraiser mission. This house is very 80s. <laughs> like, look at all the the tile that was selected to use around the fireplace. I want some of the fruit. I feel weird because like no one else is eating, but I just want pineapple. Are you involved with politics on campus? Um, not really. No. She lives that frat life. Everything seemed to be going well. They checked out the house, helped themselves some appetizers, pineapple included, even made some small talk, and then people stopped being so polite and started getting real. Well, we went to a event last weekend, actually, and they were talking about it. And then we literally went online, and we both wanted to go to a Mark Shower event. And we just Googled it, and it came right up. Well, we just Googled Mark Shower event. Okay, that lady was freaking me out. Yeah. I think she's on this. Yeah, you think? The video was released, get this, by the shower campaign, which, well, how did they get hold of it? Well, they got hold of it because, according to Detroit News, the disc containing the video was found on the floor of the pipe fitters local 636 Union Hall after a Democratic Party meeting, which probably means it was left there during another episode of Undercover Sleuthing. And this isn't the first alleged cloak and dagger routine for Michigan Republicans. In March, a man who previously filmed a television commercial for Rick Snyder reportedly posed as a CNN cameraman at a campaign event for Mark Schauer. He's reported to have flashed generic media credentials and worn an orange CNN hat, but a CNN political editor denied the network had sent anyone to the event. Well, tonight at All In, we've done some snooping of our own and acquired a top-secret training video from the Snyder camp they've been using for their college interns. Take a look. Hello, my name is Mr. Burns. I believe you have a letter for me. Okay, Mr. Burns. Uh, what's your first name? I don't know. We'll be right back. <laughs>